From the capital city to Lancaster to Portsmouth, Keene and Nashua, kids from all over the Granite State gathered in big crowds calling for change in gun laws. It was all part of the nationwide movement that took place on Saturday as students from across the country highlighted gun violence prevention and school safety. The fear of being shot is not something any student, parent or faculty member should ever have to worry about in a place that's supposed to be a safe haven. Among the crowd of students were their parents, teachers and state and local lawmakers, all on hand to show support. I think about it, where are they? Are they safe on the bus, you know, in a snowstorm? Now I have to think, are they safe at school? But there's another group of people who say they too are impacted by recent events, but feel they're not being heard. I just would like to see a little bit more Logic. Brian Barry, owner of Next Level Firearms in Salem, says he's impressed by the efforts of the youth of this country, but cautions that we not step on the rights of others as we work to curb gun violence. A result comes when people come together, speak about the pros and cons of what laws there are. Barry, who has a law enforcement background, says he doesn't feel more gun laws are the answer. Rather, current laws in place need to be enforced. He also says mental health and hardening so-called soft targets need to be part of the conversation. Even though the penalties for those laws um, exist, this, there's no fall through a lot of times, it seems. They get plea bargained away, mm -hmm. which makes it seem like we need more laws. Right. I don't think that's quite the answer either. And now, despite the large gatherings, no major problems were reported. Live here in Concord, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.